just me and my guitar Hey, what's happening Shrimp Keepers? We're back in the cupboard um, I'm just going to give these tanks a water change and I thought I'd show you uh, how I do it got my RO system here rigged up which goes through the bottom through that hole there and goes into my shed to my RO system and then I've got a pump here which goes straight out of my window onto my flower bed which works perfectly so if I turn this on off we go and we've been pumping some out of there but I'll stop that one now and we'll put you back in let that drain off a bit okay there you go now that one's in there now we can start draining this one out while this one's filling up as you can see it's on the ball valve system if you watched my other videos you've seen that it'll it just raises up and stops so I can leave it be I'm going to worry about anything and let it go and it just comes back in obviously this isn't remineralized it's just all demineralized RO water at the moment which is going in because I've got nothing in here at the moment to worry about so um, it's just cycling the system through keeping the water fresh I've got some choller wood in here as well which I put my um, my dish feeder on top there which I made from a whiskey bottle if you look at one of my older videos you'll see how I made these I made two of them nice and cheap and easy to make um, and we're just going to take some of these tannins out of the water now give it a change this one's now yeah I've only put this choller wood in today it's, uh, it's fantastic stuff look at that, the way that grows absolutely fabulous you can put some moss in amongst that, just poke it into the holes here or anywhere and then just put it on the bottom, I only put it in today and actually in one of the uh, one of the pieces is sunk already so it's uh, it does fill up with water quite quickly that'll give some more biofilm and things for the guys to uh, let me get my old tripod out of the way there and um, yeah, there'll be loads more biofilm growing on those for the uh, for the shrimp to eat when they um, when they go in. Mr. Avocado, he's just sprouted. Oh, that was an awful glare. I apologise for that. Yeah, that one's filling up nicely now. Yeah, it's a really easy way of changing my water over. No hassle. We like no hassle. This tank down here, it's got the leaves in. It's got some java on a piece of rock there as well. Got some more choller wood. Is this is from a cactus, this is. Fabulous stuff. But it's of the way it grows. You wouldn't think something would grow naturally like that, would you? Well, I think you. Uh, I think some pet keepers actually give it to chinchillas as well to chew on, or parrots. They chew on it as well. I used to breed parrots many years back, and um, but I never gave anything. I used to feed them sycamores, sycamore branches, because they were non-toxic to them. I used to feed them those, but I didn't realise, didn't know about those. But I just thought I'd weigh these, uh, weigh these down. The pump's blowing a bit of media up onto those leaves there, which won't make any difference whatsoever. But um, yeah, we're going to give this one a water change today too. As you can see, lots of tannins in the water there. I put a video out um, yesterday um, about the Indian almond leaves. And um, hopefully that was some use to you. Any questions on that, give me a ring and drop it in the section below. I'm going to drain this tank off down here now by half. Not letting it get below too much, my heater. And... Um, In fact, that will probably do it, I think, for today. And I'll refill them, and every other every other day now, I'll probably put the new change in. So that's turned off. Let some of that run back into the tank. I got these little 
funky gizmos the other day from um, from B and Q. They weren't that expensive, but they make great airline um, regulators. Because on the main pump that I've got under here, it's quite a powerful pump, so uh, I can uh, and just put that in between the airline. If you split your airline there, and you can just put one piece in there and one piece in there, fits in nice and snug, and then you can just twist it and you can adjust your flow regulation then on uh, and how much air is coming through your sponge filters. Which is great. I've got a, a well, I don't know if you can see it down there actually, but it's quite a there's a big gang of um, a big gang of valves down there which I'm running it all off at the moment. Yeah, really looking forward to getting some shrimp in here now. I'll say I've got other tanks upstairs with some different species in, some crystal blacks and some pintos up there. Um, Securas as well, which they'll all be coming down here, going into these this new room at a later date. I bought this new funky bulb actually up here the other day. I don't know if you can see that one. It's a grow lamp. I'll turn it on. I'm not sure what it's going to do to my camera though, but uh, well, hopefully it won't blind us. Whoa! That gives you uh, your skin an amazing glow. Look at that. What a suntan. It's like my hands on fire. But uh, yeah, it's got blue, you can't see the blues, but it's got blue LEDs in there as well as the red LEDs, all grow spectrum, because I'm going to be putting some more plants around, um, hanging them up in different places. I've got some more shelves to put up around here. Here's the old squidgy, you can't beat that. Give it the old air, stick it on. Jobs are good. Let's clean some windows. I bet I'll show the wife that, she loved me doing the house ones. But, uh, <laughs> but I think that's enough for there, so we can take that out, that out of there now. And uh, shake all that water out. That can go up there on the shelf. Still have any, I've had no ideas yet guys for these uh, for these for these three half orbs I've got here. I was going to do a couple of landscapes in these two, and I was going to do that one for whoever came in with the best idea. I'll, uh, I was going to make it up and hang it up on the wall, and then you could keep an eye on it as well as it's growing. You can get your regular updates on it too, on your design. But um, yeah, I think that's about it today on this one. I say we're filling them all up. They keep. Um, looking better all the time, tests are getting better all the time, but they've got to be perfect before anything goes in. I'm not going to put anything, uh, anyone's life at risk by putting them in somewhere where there's ammonia and nitrites and all that nasty stuff. I see so much of that with people in the pet trade. You see them when you go into the shops and they're always, you see the people asking, oh, can I put some fish now? I'll buy a tank, I'll buy some fish now. Can I have this, can I have that? And you must drive the pet owners. The pet shop um, people crazy, especially the, the younger kids. You know they get ask. I suppose some of the bosses say, "Oh, just sell them." It's policy to them, I suppose. Just sell it, just sell it. But when you're sat there listening to it, you just feel like saying, "Don't do it, mate. Don't do it. Come outside. Let me talk to you." But this is the thing today. Everybody wants everything now, and um, and that is a shame. No one has patience, but to have this sort of thing, you've got to have patience. You really have. So next time we're going to get onto this one suck half of that out, blow it out the window. In fact, my post pipe isn't long enough to do that one, so I'm gonna have to get a longer piece. And um, that's it, but they're all looking, all looking nice. So on that note, I shall say goodbye to you all. Please like, share, and subscribe. I've got lots of other videos on here. If you haven't seen my other videos, or you're just new to the channel, go back and have a look. I've got aquascapes on there, I've got a koi pond which um, I've got a slideshow on and also some inside footage of the uh, of the of the shed as well because it goes halfway in my shed and halfway in my garden so uh, and that's my little workshop come koi room and sneaky place to go and drink beer in the evening where the wife doesn't catch me place <laughs> all right then guys thanks very much for tuning in I love you all and I will see you on the next one please like share and subscribe bye for now just me and my guitar.